be diamond in the rough and I'm going to attempt a short whip and chat but I don't think it's going to be a short whip and chat. I uh, want to cover comments that people have made and just what's going on <laughs> and yeah um, but anyway how are you guys going? What are you up to? If you're new to my channel um, pop down below Leave a comment and say you're new and I'll sh do a shout out. On my short whipping chats, or my so-called short whipping chats, I actually do go back and respond to the comments of previous videos. Um, and that's when I do those whipping chats. I put the heart on it so that it's been, yeah, it's been, I've mentioned it in a video. Um, so, you know, when I do, when I go through the comments, what you'll see is I'll put a heart on to say I've done it. And you know that that's actually when I'm recording the whipping chat. Um, so right now it is 9.30 on Monday, night the 20th of June, sorry, 20th of July. Um, I'm on day three of my five off, day four of my five off, sorry. I've got tomorrow off and then back to work, uh, day shift Wednesday, Thursday. Night shift is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yay. So from, from the, in the next two weeks, I'll work something like 120, 124 hours, I think it works out to. So uh, yeah, I'm about to do the long, the long, what they call the long stint. But anyway, new, Pop your name down below. Leave a comment if you are new and you're just dropping in. Hit the subscribe button. And um, don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified when I do an upload. Um, hmm. How's things going with me? I've got a few things happening. Um, so I have my medical for my work. Uh, and then I had to see my, supposed to see my specialist um on Friday but I came off night shift and it was like oh, I was stupid so I cancelled and um, I actually re changed the date till today so that's it rescheduled um so I have my have it, have my little letter done up so that to prefer, confirm that I'm okay and um fit to work a high stress job and fit for duty uh, yeah, so I had that done, um, and for some of the, I, I, I adjust to change slowly. I might change things and adjust to it when I change it, but when somebody else changes something, it takes a bit for me to absorb the process and all that. And I rocked up at my doctor's place to see this sign going, we have moved to such and such address. And my first thought is, what? <laughs> Where was my notification that they were in that address? Because, you know, there was nothing in the message that I had for Fridays. Um, thankfully, thankfully, because of the illness that we had, that, well, basically it was psychiatry, um, go to psychs. Um, basically, they're fully aware of people with lovely neurotic conditions <laughs> um, and absolutely helpful, just pointed the direction. That's where you need to go, go left when you enter the door. Yeah. I'll tell you what, <laughs> she made that so much easier, that lady that helped me out. Thank you, whoever you were. Um, so, yeah, my doctor has moved to new offices, but it's only about a minute and a half from where the old office was. So. All good. That's not too much of a change. Just changes where I park my car next time. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, on that note, so it's funny with my job being high stress, safe working, all of that. Um, some of the questions that are done, um, you know, is the condition well controlled? The condition is well controlled and she's in full remission. Ask if I'm compliant with my treatment. If I have potential insights, has the potential insight into the potential effects of her condition on safe working. Do I know that I could kill somebody? <laughs> yes. 
Um, there's a few other questions here, but it's rather interesting that it's read. Um, but I have to have a medical every year um, to prove to the rail regulations, not to my company, it's to the rail regulators that I am fit for duty. And most people only have to have it done once every two years, but those of us that have conditions, we have to get checked every year. A right pain in the bum it is too. What you got to do for a medical is ridiculous. We actually have to do stairs, we have to do balancing, we have to do um, squats. It, we have to be able to show we've got a full range of motion and that we're capable of lifting a box up using the correct procedure. It's not about actually having to be being able to lift the box. It's all about actually lifting it in the correct procedure. And I don't know how many times these guys have heard it. And they're used to it because we all get there going, you need to, yeah, they go, you lift the, lift the box from here and you lift it from there and you put it up to there. And you get it here and you look at them and go, seriously? If I lift that box to there in my workplace, I'm sacked. <laughs> there you go. You're not allowed to lift certain heights, anything above a certain house. You have to have somebody else uh, as either assist or you put it to another team to completely do it for you. Yeah, learn that lesson the hard way. Um, so, yeah, so basically I've passed my medical, just all the documentation is now required. Um, so that's been, yeah, fun, fun times, fun times. Um, changes that have happened at work, yeah, interesting changes at work. I'm going to get a new boss, new supervisor, that's going to be fun, but yeah. Anyway, enough of me, enough of me. Let's go to the comments section. <laughs> Um, before, for those that aren't aware, this one is the leopard. I will pop down below links to this guy. Um, this is my own picture. Uh, and it is from Dime Moon Shop and it is in rounds. So there we go, covered that bit. Now we'll go to the comments. So the oldest comment that um, I haven't answered is to... Terilyn. Um, she's actually said, I was able to see your unboxing diamond shop. It was pretty cool to see. I will have an unboxing soon. I can't wait. Ordered Fast Colours by Lilani Joy. Oh, cool. Well done. Love that. That's Fast Colours, Lilani Joy. So that's Diamond Shop. Um, I'll tell you what, the unboxings, uh, having the unboxing that it adds to the experience of um, purchasing them paintings instead of just yeah anyway ah, yeah so it's coming and Terrilyn's actually seen it <laughs> um, what else what else what else what else okay so that was it that came to my Esperance Whip and Chat channel uh, one on the 17th of July the my short Whip and Chat um, Anna, Dion, thanks for the chat. Enjoyed your five days off. Saw the unboxing of custom. Awesome. Still waiting on Diamond Shop order from April. Apparently there was a glitch in my paintings. Yeah. Um, I will say Kathy ordered two of my cats. She got one. She didn't get the second one because when it arrived, they weren't happy with the quality of it. So they've turned around and gone, no, nah, not sending it. I'd rather wait and know that they've looked at something and know that's not good enough. But well, that's me. Um, yeah. Anna is probably one of the highest commenters on Diamond Shop's YouTube. I see comments about every video. <laughs> uh, Mindy's on, so I talked about stationery. <laughs> and Mindy's done a response to. Um, Cindy B about my stationery buy, buying and she goes well Cindy B my first year as a retired teacher I don't know I want to go buy supplies or oh, I'm happy I don't have to <laughs> I don't know if I want to go buy supplies or if I'm happy I don't have to 
一样。Yeah, stationery you guys um, have to buy. Phenomenal, phenomenal. And uh, Rachel has just gone poor bow. <laughs> Rachel, if you smelled him, you wouldn't say poor bow. <laughs> You'd be saying get him washed. Um, Sharpays have a lovely little skin. Um, I don't know whether you call it a condition, but it's what makes them wrinkly. And uh, when they, what's on them actually pop, they end up oh, stinking. So, which is why when you wash them, um, oh, it's always, oh, always lovely after you wash them. And I'll tell you what, after you've washed him, when he's gotten over the sulks of having been washed, he is so happy. So he might hate it at the start with, but when it's all done and dusted, he is a happy dog, and he will really rub up and get more attention. Try to get more attention. Yeah, I used to have a team come around, um, a dog, mobile dog wash come around. I think I'm going to go back to do that. Uh, they were well and truly worth it. Okay, the next one. <laughs> Got a few comments on this one. The inky subscription box. Yeah. I was, when I unbox that, you know, you, you see, you expect so much more. And all I could think is, I've been ripped off. Yeah. And for what, what was paid plus the freight, I will say that it's only because of COVID that there's a freight charge. That's everybody's going through that at the moment. But, you know, the freight charge is because they're not going through just standard postal service. They're actually using a courier to make sure you get it. But, yeah, way overpriced. As Roxanne has said, Elizabeth goes a lot overpriced. Cindy B's gone. The box wasn't worth a price. The green edition is not to order again. Cute, but maybe worth ten dollars tops. Pauline, I agree with you. The items are cute, but add on the additional cost of postage and exchange rates, tax is not worth fifty-seven. Um, yeah, wish there were more subscription boxes in Australia. If I could find a subscription box in Australia, I think I'd give it a go. Um, mine, I have. Oops, here we go. I have found. A subscription box for planning stuff <laughs> that's in Australia. <laughs> um, yeah, and she's in Western Australia, so yeah. Subscription box, even in the United States, say they're not really worth it. Yeah, I agree, cutesy, but not over, but overpriced from Linda. Definitely overpriced. There wasn't much in there. Michelle Mills agreed, not worth the price you pay for it. Fee from Oz. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, the exchange rate locks us out of fun things to do. Such a shame. Just makes it overpriced for us. Yeah. Hang on. I thought I got all the A's. Have I got all the A's? There's bound to be A's later. Okay. Um, and Kendra, <laughs> way too pricey, especially from her pocketbook. Yes. Um, well, Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm starting to scare myself now, I've been, but I've been trying to work on a budget. Oh, and oh my God. Oh, my God. I don't know how I'm going to do a budget. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm going to have to, but I don't know how I'm going to. <laughs> okay. Whoops, there's that drill. I dropped. Where's my tray? Yeah. Okay, so, kidding up night on the galactic railway. Right, so that one was... Um, out this morning. I put that out this morning. So uh, it's only been out probably 12 hours. Yeah, 12 hours. 13 hours. A couple of comments on there. Um, hi from Kathy again. D Diamond Pain of Dreamer. Don't remember seeing that one on their site, but don't order from them anymore. Okay. Okay, so you don't order from Pretty Neat Creative anymore. Okay. Um, 
fee do you diamond paint at an angle um i have a i have an easel um so i've diamond painted flat this is flat but i have diamond painted on an angle um i find it pretty hard to for the way my desk is set up find it pretty hard to uh, work on an angle now and I do find that when I go back to trying to use the easel uh, I end up with it hurting my back because my back's so used to being in this position um, and yeah just the cameras I can't get my camera to sit the right way I've tried so many times uh, yeah it gets a bit it gets a bit awkward I put it plastic there, there we go. Um, so yeah, no, I don't generally paint at an angle. Um, it's been a while since I have. Okay, Elizabeth goes, it's going to look awesome when I get it done. <laughs> it did a 60 by 80, never do one that big again. <laughs> oh. um, I think these are my smallest. This one here, 50 by 60. Oh no, I've got a mystery one still to do. Um, but I do like my big ones, which I think everybody's probably discovered by now. Um, okay, so let's see if I've got everybody. I just want to see if I've missed any comments because I do like to make sure I cover them. I suppose when people start making more comments, I'll um, struggle to do this, but at the moment, well, I can still make it very personal, so I will. Um, what else is going on? <laughs> um, plan with me is stick. Plan with me is not doing too well. I tried to do one, and let's just say I've got some weekly kits still on order. And when I say some, I probably mean. Mm, about a dozen. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Most of them I bought from in Australia, from Australian Etsy stores. Um, so they get printed out on um, proper paper and all of that. I do have some coming from the US because I just like them so much that I really want them. So they'll take longer. Uh, five seconds. Okay, so the oldest, the longest I've been waiting for something is about 8th of July for... Um, stickers to arrive so there we go there that's what's happening um, I did this week and it was like well I attempted to do this week and didn't get very far because it was like I can't really fill it in with what I had I have turned around and gone to uh, onto Etsy <laughs> yeah I went on to Etsy I'm, I'm loving that site now. I'm getting used to working my way around it and finding stuff. Next symbol. Uh, yeah. Mm. Um, <laughs> so I went on to Etsy, but I also, what I did is, for any of you that know Pinky Stickers, which I know quite a few of you do know Pinky Stickers, um, she does diamond painting. She hasn't put a video out for a while. I hope she's doing well, but I have gone on to her Etsy shop because she does the downloadable stickers. So what I have done, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. So what I have done is I've printed out because I meant to buy labels today, but I went out and I forgot to buy labels. Um, I was just going to buy just a couple of sheets of labels just so I can run it through my printer and create my own just for the time being. So I downloaded 
um, August, the monthly kit from Pinky Stickers. And could, didn't, I forgot the stickers, forgot to buy labels. So then I've gone, well, what else am I going to do? So the Dymo, the Zyron label maker does these really well. Look at that. <laughs> I've actually got them on the Dymo. So I will actually, whoops, bring that down here for you. So I put them on the Dymo. Um, so that's August, Monday to Thursday, Friday to Saturday. Girl's legs there. So just by using the Dymo label maker, I've been able to do um, some of my stickers. So I'm going to do one of my do one one of my binders with um, those stickers done with the label maker, wholly and solely. Um, and then I started going down that another rabbit hole of looking at the circuits and the, not the circuits, the crickets and silhouettes and it's like, no, 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 no. Um, I need to get my budget done. <laughs> so I sat down. I sat down and actually filmed me trying to do the budget. And that was fun. And then... While I'm sitting down and doing it, I've gone, oh heck, I've got that bill. Oh heck, this bill comes up. <laughs> and it's like, oh my goodness. You don't realise, if you don't keep track of what bills you've got, you just don't realise what, yeah, what you're spending. Um, yeah, Nathan's, Nathan was like very impressed with me because on the weekend he was home and I'm like going, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do a budget. He hasn't asked me how I went. <laughs> but he's like, you need new tyres for your car. Put that in your budget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just find it so amusing because, yeah. We, our finances, I've said it before, our finances are separate, so I just find it really funny that I've got actually, I've actually got a budget, even what I earn, I've got, I have to budget because I'm just blowing so much. But I have, so I have Netflix, I have Stan, and I have Amazon Prime, which means I've got subscription to three um, movie things. So... I actually turned around and said to Nathan tonight, I said, do you watch Stan? He's like, no. I said, fine, that's okay. There's one subscription I'll get rid of. So that's $10 a month. Not much, but when you look at $10 a month, that's $120. I quote that to diamond painting pictures. <laughs> Oops, is that the wrong way to look at it? But it's still, it's $120. Um, so that's one subscription that is going to be cancelled. Um, so yeah. Uh, so I'm still, I'm still going between the two. Whether to, whether just to completely do the planner on on a different channel. I'm still struggling with, or with it. So I think I might actually just. I don't know. Do you want to see? Do you want to see stationery? The, the unboxings of the Aaron Conrad. Well, not just Aaron Conrad, but do you want to see the boxings, unboxings of stuff that arrives? Because I do unboxings on this channel. Because um, what I might do, yeah. I see. That's the thing. I haven't fully thought it through. I go guns blazing at things, and yeah. Oh. Well. <laughs> um, yeah, my planner went. My planning for the weekend went out the window. Uh, Nathan, Nathan was home, so when he's at home and I try and do recordings, he he will go into the kitchen. Now that I'm in the craft room, it's not so bad. But he goes in the kitchen, and I can hear him. He goes, "Get us a drink." And he belches in. He calls out going, are you recording? It's like, ah. 
So it's a yell back going, yes. <laughs> And, and yeah, that disrupts a whole. That disrupts a recording. Um, so yeah, it's a quite an interesting process to try and record when he's not when he's at home. So uh, I think I need to put that into into the planner so I know when he is at home on the weekends or well when he's at home basically, not at work. But it's minor thing, minor thing. But yeah, I had him. I tried recording the planner. So with the planning that I did, um, one, it wasn't that good. Well, one, I just didn't have the stickers to do it to the degree that it should be done. But two, I had Nathan come out and go, are you recording? It's like, yeah, to stop midway through doing something just to answer back. <laughs> you guys that are YouTubers, pop your comment down below. Do you have that issue? And I've just looked at the clock and gone, heck, I've gone over 20 minutes. Um, so heads up, not much in the way of videos coming unless I get some unboxings but for the next week. Um, they'll just be whipping chats that I do for the next week because uh, I was naughty and didn't get videos produced like I was supposed to. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Uh, just because somebody was at home. <laughs> um, yeah, I was called into the garage numerous times over the weekend, and I do say numerous, um, just to assist with holding the spanner here or helping to tighten the bolt there. <laughs> so, yeah, big interruptions from him. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to continue drilling, but I'm going to leave that there. We'll say comments below. There we go, I just missed, oh, so I missed a couple. Um, yeah, pop your comments to that below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and become one of the beautiful gems. Um, there is the drawing for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway coming up soon. Um, all the details will be announced in the unboxing from Dining Shop, which, although it's at FedEx, is saying it'll be here tomorrow. I uh, will say that FedEx is unreliable in Australia. So I'll probably see it in another week, am I guessing? I hope not. I can be hopeful it's here tomorrow. But, I don't, yeah, no. Plan for delivery, delivery tomorrow. Um, scheduled delivery tomorrow. And it's still uh, in transit from Singapore. So, and that was at six o'clock Monday morning. So yeah, I'm not holding my breath on that one. I'm arriving anytime soon. Give me DHL any day, any day. I'll pay extra for DHL. But this is hitting the half hour mark. So I will say, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll start rambling again. Um, yeah, don't forget to hit that bell if you haven't already. And I will say thank you for watching. And bye for now.